السلام علیکم مائی نیم از محمد احمد ٹو ڈے اور ٹاپک از فیس چینج مٹیریل اور پرابلم از ڈیٹ ان آن ون سائڈ آف ریکٹینگل وس اپلائی ہاٹ ٹیمپریچر اینڈ آن ادر سائڈ وس اپلائی کولڈ ٹیمپریچر فور دس وی آر یوزنگ اینسیز فلوئنٹ and our purpose is to calculate the temperature contours first, first we type workbench on search bar and run it it will usually take two to three minutes then this type of window will appear you will drag uh, under the toolbox fluid fluent and drag it into project schematic and rename it PCM phase change material on geometry properties you change the analysis type into 2d then you will open the new design modeler by right clicking on geometry tab this will open design modeler window you will select xy plane and go on sketching and select rectangle and draw it then you go on units and can select unity millimeter then go on dimensions and give vertical and horizontal dimension our horizontal dimension is 9 meter and vertical is 7 cm then we go on concept and select surface from sketch then select the sketch and apply it and then generate it now go on file and save the project i will save it on desktop with by creating new folder pcm and give the file name pcm and then save it right click on mesh and select update then again right click on mesh and edit it this will appear meshing window then select mesh under the project tree and select zoom to fit again go on mesh control and select face meshing select the domain and then apply it and generate it then go on edge sizing and select all four edges of the rectangle then again go on mesh control select sizing and select type number of division and type 60 and generate the mesh now our main and most important task is to name the boundary conditions select left face and rename it hot side select the right face and rename it cold side top and bottom select both edges by using control key and give it name top or bottom and then generate it then select domain and name it domain with the help of surface filter and generate mesh then go on file and save the project then go on setup and right click and select update and edit then select double precision and press okay then on task page select transient and gravity 
is minus 9.8 meter second because our uh, gravity always acts downward and then go on models and select solidification yeah melting it will automatically turn on the energy equation then go on materials then on fluid rename the fluid PCM you can any PCM fluid for this then go on density and rename it B O U double S I N equation and then give it uh, values for density 750 CP 1800 thermal conductivity 2 viscosity 1.8 into minus 3 this uh, type uh, is uh, explained in slide on f second slide of our video then write melting heat required it solidest temperature at which the material is solid and liquidest temperature at which the material behave as an liquid then create it then go on boundary condition select cold side then under the thermal tab write temperature 294 Kelvin and then again click on hot side under the thermal tab write temperature 363 Kelvin and press OK then go on solution method we use by default methods and go on material monitors under the residue tab write the residual that you want for energy continuity and momentum equations then press ok then go on solution initialization and compute from all domains their zones and write temperature 294 Kelvin because uh, our starting temperature is 294 then go on calculation activities and select create name the file liquid fraction and file type is CFD post compatible by the help of this we can export its result and under the quantities select liquid fraction and under frequency tab type 50 and then select the directive where we want to save this file and press ok then go on run calculation tab select time size 0.3 and number of time steps 101 and max iteration per time step is 50 and then select calculate it it will usually takes f 10 to 15 minutes because uh, this is not 50 iteration this is 15 multiplied by 101 and it's a big uh, amount of iteration approximately 5000 then our calculation complete then go under the tab reports select volume integrals select mass average for solidification and melting of domain and select compute it will give you value 0 0.0833 and then close it and save the project then right click on result update it then again right click on result and edit it then go on contours and make a rename the contour liquid fraction and press ok select location symmetry 1 symmetry 1 is basically our domain and under the variable we use select mass fraction because we want to see liquid and uh, solid fra mass fraction and select number of contours 50 and apply it this type of window will appear 
then again go on streamline write it as liquid fraction start we will start it from symmetry one symmetry one is our domain and we want to see velocity how velocity is behaving velocity basically is transfer of uh, sol uh, liquefaction of uh, solid metal and uh, how the boiling is going on it will basically show you that process and then go on animation and play the liquid fraction animation then again go on liquid fraction contour in place of mass fraction you can see the temperature uh, wall, wall temperature how the wall temperature is behaving wall adjacent temperature also selected for any query you can contact uh, at our email query solver at the rate of gmail.com thank you be happy